problem. Map, four villages, distances marked. Same information encapsulated in this table. Task one. Write all the distances in order. Easy. Happy. Task two. Find the shortest path. A traveler wants to visit every village once, return to the starting point. What's the shortest distance to do it? Should you choose A, B, C and D and then return to A or this order? The question is as clear, as definite as this one. It requires the same information, the distances between the cities. No more data is needed. However, we find out that this is easy. This is hard for us. And this distinction between easy and hard is the foundation of modern cryptography. We cannot prove that this is hard. We can say it's hard for us. And therefore, we hope it's hard for whoever. There is a reason why we have a disparity between the two types of problems. First of all, when you have only four villages, Either problem is not very difficult. Only when we keep adding villages, it becomes an issue. So if we have here village E, we uh, have to write all the distances towards all the villages before. So let's say the distance to B is 17. For the first problem, all we have to do is take this 17 and stick it in the right place. Because the order that we have before doesn't change. It's recursive. This is not true for the second problem. Because once you have an addition of a single village, it can upset the entire order. And now the shortest path may have no resemblance to what it was before. But what we don't know, and that is the key question, is this extra difficulty that we have for this traveling salesman question, is it something that is inherent in the question or is it some limitation of our math? We know that we have all the information. We need nothing more in both cases. We have the math to solve one. We don't have the math to solve the other one efficiently. And by the way, even if we cannot solve efficiently in the general case, if we can solve it efficiently in enough practical cases, cryptography is dead, as we know it. So, we rely for all our national security, all our financial wires, if you uh, buy Bitcoin, anything that cryptography is is a foundation of, relies on the expectation that nobody will innovate something against us. So in the age of innovation, we rely on no innovation if we don't like it. And that is why some of us who look beyond the horizon think that the home that was where cryptography resided for the last 50 years, mathematical intractability, which is a fancy name of hardness of 
problems will not be the address where cryptography will be found down the road. What will that address be? has to do with randomness. High quality, lavish use of randomness. Stay tuned.